supposed to protect that? You gotta be out of your mind, but pretend for a second that it was a woman there playing piano. Do you Good think point. that she would have behaved in this particular manner if it was a woman? So many of these modern women today have a low level barometer hate for men and it comes off in their actions. I've seen worse downtown. This is nothing compared to what I did and I know it's not right. What does seeing worse have to do? Yeah. Thank you, MTR, thank you. What does seeing worse have to do with the effery that you have done? You don't know what you're doing. I want you to let go of all of the things that you have believed to be the truth of the past. Worry, the defend and protect all of the opposite sex. And I'm talking to my fellas here. Uh, there's an arrow, an arrow pointing, and it shows the second girl from the left. And it says, remember her. Watch this. You've got a young man with his back to us playing the keyboard. You have some observers, several women, and it looks like uh, a couple of guys on the right side of the screen. Watch this. That chick comes in and just puts her hand on his keyboard. Watch. This is what you deal with so here This kind in of the stuff West. happens here and there, so I usually just keep playing through it, but after what's about to happen, I had to stop. She came back. Bruh, look at that ignorant ass. Look at MTR's face. Look at his face. Look, look again. Y'all got to see this again. Y'all have got to see this again. Because I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Look at this raggedy broad, man. Whole hand. I'm going to say it because MTR is too classy to say it. And this young man in the video is way too nice and too forgiving to say it. This raggedy, bad posture, batch. Look at this goofy, doofy broad with them ugly, dirty Chuck Taylors on. And you know what? Normally, I wouldn't even engage in a conversation like this, but I'm telling you right now, man, this is so up. It's so up. And MTR's face says everything that you need to know. Look at what she has to say. She said, I'll give you a hundred dollars. Steals money out of the bucket. She was supposed to give him $100 and she stole a, a, some money out of his bucket. Listen, yo, it's some raggedy ass people out here and privilege is invisible to those that have it. I'm telling you, man, only the, the coach just said it. Only in the <laughs> ununited States. Yeah, only here would you see some dumb shit like that. Only here. You're right, coach. You're right. Bruh, why? Why on God's green earth? Why are you still dealing with these Western women? Why? We should be past this point with all that, that Kevin Samuels, Alpha Male Strategies, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back in his heyday when he was doing his classic live streams, all that, that cats like, uh, uh, Brother Obsidian, that the lead attorney, even though he claims not to be a passport bro, lead your passport bro, shout out to you. <laughs> the likes of Poor Man's podcast, Poor Man put out a great video today where he was debating women on ethnism, uh, mediocre tutorials and reviews, uh, JR Wisdom, so many of these brothers, the Tip Network, all of these gods are telling you who is who, what is what, one of my favorite channels, Immortal Minds. Yo, why are you still sitting in your prison cell and the door is open? Why, yo? Why when this 
is your reward for loyalty. Let's get it. No. Look at that, yo. And she took his money at the end too. How incredibly heartless. She's already been identified as Shantae Hurd. On her Facebook, it looks like she's apologizing. I also agree with Andrew and I do not support harassment or bullying. But the public's reaction to what you did, those are the consequences of your actions. No. Yeah, they call it f around and find out. Shout out to f around and find out. Man, we love f around and find out. Boom. Let's get it. Public service announcement. I'm sorry for everyone that has seen the viral video. I have taken accountability for my actions. I know it was wrong and ignorant of me, but please keep my family out of it. Y'all problems with me, not my family. You don't get anything out of texting them or me. And I've already apologized to the person we have talked. Everything. It sucks to be the family member of this young lady and to be getting harassed. But the people that choose to troll see, trolls are a special breed. They're a special breed, people. Trolls, <laughs> go watch South Park. They did like a three-part uh, uh, series on trolls where uh, it wasn't Randy. It was Gerald. It was Kyle's dad was, was uh, the top troll in the world. And they did the whole troll trace thing. Trolls are a different breed. Their motivation is completely different. And the fact that they're making you miserable is all the reward they need. Welcome to the internet. I'm sorry, that's rude, but welcome to the internet. That's what you get. That's exactly what you get. And the days of people saving your ass for making bad decisions. Notice I didn't say mistakes. It's not a mistake. It's a bad decision. You got caught on camera. You're being held accountable. And look, sometimes the reaction is worse than the action. That's the way it happens. Life is not fair. And you're getting everything you deserve and more. I don't feel bad for you at all, at all. The only reason you're sorry is because people can see that you did it and you cannot refute it. That's the only reason that you're apologizing. That's it. Unbelievable. Let's get it. Thing is good. No, I didn't steal any money and I didn't break the piano. I'm a human just like what does being a human have to do with your actions? Everyone has made mistakes. What? Nobody is perfect. Not a mistake. Not an accident. What's the movie with my guy Simon Pegg? He talks about he's like, yo, it's not a traffic accident. It's a traffic collision because an act, the word accident removes accountability from it. That's the same thing with this. It's not a mistake. It was Hello, Daddy. traffic collision. Oh. Hey, why can't we say accident again? Because accident implies there's nobody to blame. It's a f***ed up decision. It's not a mistake. Let's go. Again, I'm sorry. It's so crazy when you watch them describe what being sorry for their actions, they still don't take complete and utter accountability. Everyone is human. Everyone makes mistakes. I've never done this dumb shit before to do Thank what you, you did to continue to bother that man to mess up his money for the day and then to mess up his equipment and then to even act like you're taking money out of his pot is subhuman behavior. The shame that you should have for yourself should be exponential. But the type of human being that you are, the only reason that a statement like this has to get released is because the entire internet found out about it and identified you. The re Man, praise God, man, MTR is on it. And that's what I'm saying. That's it right there. <clears throat> Team, it's not about a genuine remorse and a desire to, for lack of a better term, repent to turn away from your ways. It's because, yo, your behavior is so inexcusable and so irrefutable that nobody's gonna give you a pass. How in the world could anybody say what you did was okay? And you deal with the backlash, you around and found out, and now these cats are harassing your family. Welcome to the world. Welcome to being an adult, man, unbelievable. But wait, there's more. Let's keep going. So to protect that, you gotta be out of your damn mind, but pretend for a second that it was a woman there playing piano. 
Do you Good think point. that she would have behaved in this particular manner if it was a woman? So many of these modern women today have a low level barometer hate for men and it comes off in their actions. I've seen worse downtown. This is nothing compared to what I did and I know it's not right. What does seeing worse have to do? Yeah. Thank you, MTR, thank you. What does seeing worse have to do with the effery that you have done? Unbelievable, man. He's just, bruh, let's get it. But y'all still love these Western women. Good for y'all. We're living in a clown world multiplied with the Twilight Zone. As if because you've seen worse, then it has somehow enabled you to behave this way. Wow. The person I apologized to accepted my apology and we had a whole good converse. She can barely write on the phone <laughs> and that's all that matters. You people are nasty. No, you're nasty. The way y'all are texting me and my family and making, I had to find the whole thing. You people are nasty the way y'all texting me and my family and making fake pages. Y'all don't get nothing out. They just stopped teaching periods in schools, uh, commas at least. Uh, oh yeah, please stop texting my aunt. She is not crazy for let me read that for you, MTR. It says, oh yeah, please stop texting my crazy auntie Sabrina. She is crazy, not for fake, but for real. I don't know what to say to that. Let's go. Fake, but for real. It's so crazy. We have so many of these independent queens walking around just being aggressive just being destructive, entitled. But you can't tell a young woman like this any goddamn thing. I think at the utmost least, she should be charged for her actions. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> she needs to be charged. That's some bull what she did. Let's get it. Clear here that through her apology note, that she hasn't taken full accountability. Hey, I accept your apology. I told people not to harass you, but I can't control what happens. That was my way of trying not to have people come at you. However, you have to know the actions have consequences. I like this guy, Andrew. And while I feel bad that people are harassing you, you got to own up to your actions. If you know me, I'm a really chill person. Like when you did it the first time, I wasn't mad at all. But the yeah, when she came and do, do, do on his keyboard the first time, he didn't trip. He was cool about it. And she came back and yes, thank you. Thank you so, so much, sir. Thank you. This is the point that I'm trying to make. As far as the violence, I don't condone that. But if you would have cussed her out that first time, I bet you, I bet you she wouldn't have come back. And this is where we as men are up, yo. And you don't have to cuss people out. But if you let them know, if you meet them with equal and opposite energy and ignorance, if you they're willing to go low, you go a little bit subterranean on that, you wouldn't have to deal with that. Stop placating these people that are willing to walk all over you. You ever heard the saying, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me? This is the fool me twice thing. The second time it happens, it's your fault. And that's exactly what you're seeing right here. She came back and did this again. And it's his fault. You should have checked her, or if it was a guy, him, the first time they did that. And this is why I say, men, it is our fault. It is our bad that we are dealing with this because we've let way too much stuff slide. And you don't have to put your hands on a person. Please don't. And you don't have to go ad hominem with somebody. But you can let them know with equal and opposite force, as Kevin Samuels would say, match the energy and put them in a place that you know what? This is unacceptable, will not be tolerated. Check that, check that, hashtag Kevin Samuels. And it's over. Just make it painful enough 
that they don't want to come back and do it again. It's just like dealing with a bully. Just like that. Let's go. The second time was pretty messed up. Therefore, there is not much for me to do here, except if anybody recognizes this man at the end of the video, you tipped him. He's reaching. Wow. Shout out to the dude that gave everything that he had in his pocket or in his hand to the dude. Shout out to him, yo. Let's go. We want to thank him for a second. You're really good. Bro supporting bros. I love it. And shout out to the ladies that came and lended a hand. Not all ladies are bad, yo. But these raggedy... Let's go ahead and demonetize this right now. Oh. These raggedy out here that are willing to do that type of stuff and stand so close to you, good women, they're f***ing it up for everybody. They really are. But shout out to these two young ladies that were willing to help the brother pick up his keyboard and everything. I'm helping him. Shout, shout out, out to the, the guy lady. who tipped me after and all of the people that came and helped out after seeing what happened. It really restores my faith in humanity.